So let's talk ecology of the six pine species found in the low country. We'll start with longleaf pine since it's probably the most ecologically significant pine species of the southeastern U.S. Longleaf pine forests once stretched for more than 90 million acres from Virginia south to Florida and west to Texas. Within this ecosystem, there would have been a variety of habitats with the understory ranging from grasses to evergreen shrubs to wildflowers and herbs, depending on the soil, the topography, and the fire frequency. Longleaf pine habitats are fire maintained. Not only is longleaf adapted to fire throughout its entire life cycle, but it depends on fire to open the forest up and remove hardwood competition. Loblolly is our most common pine by far, often called the old field pine. It readily colonizes fallow fields in the absence of fire, and it's also grown for timber and pulpwood. Its natural habitat is along the edges of swamps where fire would not be common. The national champion loblolly is in Congaree National Forest in Columbia, South Carolina, where the loblollies there range from three to 400 years old. We're at the northernmost end of the slash pine range, so it's not a very common tree, although some barrier islands are dominated by it. It doesn't handle hard freezes or ice well, so it's restricted to the coastal region up to the Charleston area and is found in forests that burn, but not as frequently as longleaf. Pond pine is also tolerant of regular fire and is often associated with soils that have a perched water table and an understory consisting of evergreen shrubs. In some places in its range, pond pine is serotonous. That means that it requires fire for the cones to open and release their seeds. Shortleaf pine is usually uncommon here, but can tolerate fire as well and would be found in patches within the longleaf ecosystem. It has a range that extends further north than our other species. Spruce pine is our only pine that can germinate in the shade. All the rest require open sunny areas. It's often associated with soils that have a lot of calcium and usually is pretty small, but it just so happens that Spring Island is home to the state co-champion spruce pine.